hello guys it's Mickey welcome to my channel and if you're just into my channel please subscribe turn on the notification bell so as to be notified each time there's an upload coming from me so I'm still following my book you can see it the book is still very much available I tried putting it on Amazon but I noticed that only I think it was limited to people in the US that could put their hard copy US London some different country Nigeria could not do it uh, Nigeria we could only put the ebook and the price of the ebook is quite it's, it's quite pricey it's quite pricey so I didn't just bother putting it there all right so the book I'm thinking of looking for stores to take it to but it's going to be sealed so you won't be able to open it you won't be able to open it at all at all because I know some people will be like they'll just go to the store and be snapping pictures we want to snap it that would be unfair so I would have to seal everything together then I'll look for stores to drop the books so you guys could probably go get it there. All right. So um, I'm still pulling away my book. It's very much available. For now, if you actually want to get it, you only get it from me. But I'm going to think of stores to put it in. All right. You're going to get it from Mickey herself. So in case you probably want to order for this book, you call plus 234-818-541-7558. The number is going to appear on the screen. And also you can order it on my website www.mikiskincare.ng on um, in the home page yes on the website you'll be able to see their ebooks there yes just click on it you'll be able to see the book there right so you can purchase it on the website as well okay and um let's continue with uh, where we stopped now some people ask questions about oh what does the ebook contain it contains cream it contains oils it contains serums it contains soap shower gel all right how to measure uh, a particular product now a customer of mine was saying she purchased the book and she was like oh please Mickey, i don't understand the measurements and i referred her back on youtube and um also a certain page so you see we work with pages here now let's move over to page 58 body scrubs all right we have different sort of body scrub we have uh um emotion body scrub now some people be like which one is emotion body scrub again those are scrubs like ashanti scrub all right they are like um you know when you use them on your body they contain um like um em emotion emotion ranging from emulsifying wax you make it from emulsifying wax you use emulsifying wax you use stearic acid you use them coco bentane coco bentane is the um stuff that makes it foam all right it causes the scrub to foam you notice if you put, use ashanti scrub you know you pour water on your body you apply ashanti scrub what happens it starts to foam on your body all right those are uh, emotion scrub and the granules in them are not always that sharp all right and except you probably add too much uh, um, sugar or salt into it before it becomes really sharp but even at that it sinks in compared to when you are using normal salt scrub or sugar scrub that is really really sharp okay so um brightening emotion scrub now some people will be like what's the difference with emotion scrub and normal uh, scrub what's the difference now this is it salt scrub you can't use salt scrub for all skin it dries the skin now for someone with an oily skin we advise you go for salt scrub because if you use salt scrub it tends to dry the skin but someone who has a dried skin will not be found using a salt scrub or a sugar scrub but rather that person will be found using probably like emotion scrub because she needs moisture you know, she needs to lock in moisture. Um, sometimes sugar tends to give you moisture, but it still dries it out a bit, but not that much. So in case you probably want to go for sugar, so you like, I'll go for sugar, but make sure you have enough oil in the sugar because, so that it's going to help moisturize if you have a dry skin. But emotion scrub is the best bet. If you're going to have, if you have a dry skin, you have a sensitive skin, you have um, an oily skin, emotion scrub, but salt scrub, um, really helps for people with oily skin really really helps but emotion scrub is all rounder it works all rounder and it's easier for you to add your bobo tibo your ingredients your additives into an emotion scrub you know if you want to add your giga white your sepia white your you know you work with the emotion scrub and that's why if you notice rooty scrub that's an emotion scrub they are whitening scrub extreme scrub those are an emotion scrub ashanti scrub those are emotion scrub so if have you noticed that with extreme scrub when you use the extreme scrub over time you become white 
because the because of the additives that has been added so with emotion scrub it's easy for you to add additives but with just sugar scrub you don't add additives except you it's also going to be made with emotion like you're using a emulsifying wax then you're adding your sugar which is going to stand as the granules then you're also going to be adding your additives but most times people will just call it sugar scrub but the main sugar scrub we know is sugar and oil that is sugar scrub all right sugar oil and essential oil so that's what we call sugar scrub but um emotion scrub are scrubs that you make like you're making a cream with your emulsifying wax just acid you make it like you're making a cream all right that is easier for you to add your additives so if you're making mixing a scrub for someone it's easier for you to add your additives and yes it's going to work it's definitely going to work afabutin powder is really really effective so it will do a good work on the skin trust me and it's cheaper in case you probably want to go into production for someone who owns a spa you want to go into production ah okay let me that's why i say in a spa i find it absurd when you're using other people's products because you can always work with yours and you can dictate how you want yours to work on a particular skin okay so we are also now here in repair scrub you know this repair scrub contains the black salt and all that which is really really good very nice this the problem is just the smell it smells really horrible which i don't like all right so um now we have our cool glow body scrub we have other scrubs here we have body polish now body polish is not the same with a body scrub all right it's not the same body polish is really really nice it's nice for people who just want to polish their skin now most times in body polish with body polish we use that in a spa it's mostly found in a spa you can see why i said if you want to get this book you should be thinking of opening your own spa or probably your own spa you want to um you know improve because most people open a spa based on what they see on youtube that is what they do they use youtube uh, videos to start opening spa like the lady that treated my face is still annoying me to now nine thousand era for facials which was horrible nothing to write home about you know she kept pressing you know, pressing it so that the dead skin you don't over you know you don't press it too much because it has given me inflammation which is not nice and i'm still true it's, it's so hard this is not still going the others have gone but this one is refused this side is refusing to go <laughs> i love like i see that girl punch her face all right so let's continue um so in terms of body polish you don't really need um um, all this emulsifying work but most people still use it because in case you probably want to sell it you know in case you want to sell it in a, like on a shelf and stuff like that most people still use emulsifying wax if they want to but naturally in a spa you don't use emulsifying wax what you do is just you add your powders the powders that are here page 62 um you add your powders i gave you powders that you can use with it those are powders you add and your water know and you mix it all together and you polish the skin it's really nice it helps in brightening it helps in brightening the skin it helps in toning the skin okay so we also have our facial mask we all know there are so many masks in the market we have uh, um, we have yc facial mask we have um, queen Eline facial mask which is really nice we have clay mask there's so many masks but you can make your own mask like in a in a spa, I believe you should be able to make your own mask. It's so simple to make your own mask. All right. So if you probably do not have an idea of how to make your mask, you can actually order my book. All right. You can order Makey Skincare's Natural Look. You can order the book in order to make your own facial mask. We have Blackhead Remover Peel Off Mask. It's also here. I gave enough uh, illustrations on how to do it. We have different masks for different skin. We have for anti-aging. We have for acne. You know they are not always the same mask we use for them okay so mask differ it depends on what the person wants before you know okay mask tamalili now we are heading over to um acne facial mask in terms of acne facial mask you don't use too much ingredients all right most times you focus on things that helps in brightening you know why because you need to brighten those dark spots if you know you're having acne you need to brighten the 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 um like the dark spot those dark edges you just need something that will help in brightening it so it starts fading off and something that will help in drying it to peel it off 
so that's what we only focus on here and i am a certain oil that would help in you know making the skin look uh, that would help in building the facials because we have different kind of uh, oils and the oils are suitable for the face is what you go for you don't just go for almond oil almond oil for the face might not work out because for all skin you know it's been it's been stated that almond oil does not really go well with all skin we have bitter almond oil we have sweet almond oil and almond oil takes a longer time for it to absorb most people don't have that kind of time and we have oily skin oily skin might not roll well with almond oil because it takes six hours to absorb but it's the best glowing oil if you want to use you want to glow your skin it's really good because it takes a longer time to absorb but in terms of facial mask you probably want something to dry out on time on your face you don't use almond oil you use oil that absorbs quickly all right from zero to two that absorbs quickly so in case you put it it's, it's going to absorb immediately you don't need something that would stay too long because when it stays too long we some people love to touch their face you know you find them touching their face it might cause breakouts okay so in our next video i'll talk about cream base here we have cream base here we have different sort of cream base we have whitening cream base we have normal cream base because the same base used for someone with a dark skin is not the same base used for someone with a light skin it's not possible and the same base we can use the same base for a light skin tone with someone with a whitening skin we can use the same base but the additives will differ the additives will not be the same we're going to differentiate with the additives they are not always going to be the same all right so i'll see you guys in my next youtube video and i love you guys like kilo day to my old subscribers i am grateful as in really grateful from then till now ah it's not been easy and some people are like diehard fans mickey you said this the last time you said you know <laughs> really diehard fans i'm impressed and um for people who are yet to subscribe honey don't don't waste time you know click on that subscription button subscribe all right and i'll see you guys in my next video bye